Hey guys, it's me here, 99 Chaka, and I'm sick again. I've had the flu all week. It's awful. <sighs> anyway, I have a, I felt a little bit better today, so I ended up going to get my Apple Watch fixed because, okay, I have a story for you. So, I got an Apple Watch for Christmas, and, well, I didn't get it for Christmas, but it was out of stock when my dad went to buy it, so I ended up getting Christmas money to get it. So I went to get it, like, on New Year's Day, and I loved it. And that night, it was making, like, this little, like, alien sound. Like, not alien sound, like a cricket sound. And it was, like, beeping. Not, I don't know, it's like a rattling, like, beeping sound. So I had called Apple, spent two hours on the phone with them, and they're like, well, what does it sound, what does it sound like? Like, can you describe it to us? And I described them to them the sound, and they didn't really know what I was saying. They tried a whole bunch of troubleshooting things, and it didn't work. And so I ended up going back up to the store, which is two hours away from me. Um, they told me I had 14 days to return it and get a new one if it was, in fact, a hardware issue. So I ended up going back up today. So it was like 12 days after I purchased it. Let's say the 13th. Yeah, like 12 days after I purchased it because I only have 14. So I ended up going back up today to purchase a, or not purchase a new one, to just exchange it. So upon getting there, they like held it up to their ear and they were like, we don't hear like anything. And like they, they couldn't figure it out. So they ended up taking the back and they heard like a faint beeping sound. And they're like, I don't know if it's a hardware issue. It might be supposed to be like that, but we're going to exchange it and give you a new one anyway. So they exchanged it, gave me a new one, and it made the same sound. So if you have an Apple Watch Series 2, the dual core processor does make a little bit of like a cricket beeping sound. Not You can't hear it unless you literally hold it up to your ear. I just thought there was something wrong with it. I don't know. But um, yeah, so I do have my Apple Watch on in this video. And that's why I ended up going to the mall today, even though I don't feel well. So I only went to one store besides the Apple store, and that was Victoria's Secret. And I know this is a very small bag, but everything that I got was, in fact, lip glosses that they had some on sale. I only think I paid full price for one of them because it was one that I really liked. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into the haul, and let's go. And I'm not editing this video. I don't feel good. <clears throat> Alright, so I've already opened all of these and done swatches because me and my friends wanted to see what they smelled like. And yeah, I went with my friend Maddie. And she got some too and we wanted to see what they smelled like and looked like. So these are all the colors and I'll show you when I pull it out like which swatch is which. Okay, so the first two aren't like lip glosses so I'll just do these two first. So the first one and they are all, this is like, I don't know if it's called like a tube lip gloss or I don't know. This one, this one, these two actually rang up a dollar ninety nine each and they're originally $12 guys. Like that was such a good deal. It's not focusing, but they're originally $12. They both rang up $1.99. That's awesome. So the first one is Violet Femme. Violet, I think I'm saying that right. Violet Femme. Let's see if it'll focus. It won't focus. Okay, I guess it kind of did. And this one smells... They all smell really good. This one smells... I can't really smell that good because I'm sick, but this one smells... Like, uh, kind of smells like a berry type of smell. It smells good, and that swatch is right here. It's the first one. I'm gonna try to go in order, but I don't know. It's that one right there. It's a pretty, like, sheer, like, pinkish, purplish color. Kind of, I don't know, it looks like it'll look pretty on your lips. And then the second one, like, that is called Love It. And this is such a pretty color in the bottle. Oh my gosh, like, I wish you could see, like, what this really looked like not on camera because it's really pretty and it's so pretty out of the bottle too it's the second one right there and the camera really doesn't do these swatches swatches justice guys um this one smells it's, this one smells like kind of like a strawberry like watermelonish smell not really it's more strawberry it's like strawberry smell it smells good and it's pretty color and i'll definitely be wearing this one a ton i think and i don't really like like okay so I used to love lip liplicious. Oh, I can't stand them anymore. Not, not can't stand them, but okay, so when you put them on your lips, they look really pretty. They look really sheer and really pretty. And then they get like if you like if you have them on like this, they open your mouth to talk. They're they get all sticky and like they, they stick together. Like they stick from your top up to your bottom up and it looks gross and like grimy. I don't wear them. 
sometimes I'll put a little dab, like if I'm wearing a lipstick, I'll put like a little dab of like a clear one or sparkly one over it, but you can't wear just that. It's sticky, and I, I don't like sticky lip glosses. I It's sticking together when I'm trying to talk, and looks like slobber. I can't do it. Some people can. I can't, though. Not to bash lip lipliciouses, because I think Bath & Body Works, I don't know, I haven't tried these yet. I'm going to let you guys know what I think, though. My friend has one, and I tried hers, and I really liked it. Like, okay, so then, what one was next? I'm sorry. I'm trying to go in order just so I know which swatch is which. So the next one comes with this little, you can unattach this too, though. Comes with this little lips thing. It says Victoria's Secret on it. And this one is just called Minty Kiss. And it's a really, really sweet mint smell. I already smelled it. It smells so good. Like, this one will be, this one's going to get worn all the time over lipsticks. And that's, you can't even see it, but it's the third one right there. It's that clear color. It's just clear. It's not sparkly or anything. It's just clear. But this one is really nice. Oh, I was going to rate them. I forgot. Okay. Um. Well, I haven't tried them on yet, so I can't really rate them. Just rating them on smell and color. Okay, so I'd rate the first one a 7.5 out of 10. And I would rate the second one an 8.5 out of 10. And I'd rate this mint one an 8 out of 10. And then the next one that I pulled out, I believe, was this one. I, I'm almost positive it was. It was. It's called Plum Kiss. And this smells like a sugar plum. It really does. Like anything sugar plum scented, candles, hand sanitizer. That's what this smells like. It smells like, yeah. And this swatch is, I'm sorry. I didn't really plan what I was going to say on this video or anything. I just kind of like go on with it. It's this one right there. And this is like a very pretty pinkish kind of purple color. So I'm not big on purples, but the, these are like sheer, like kind of, they're not dark purple. They're like very, I don't know. I think they're everyday. All of these are everyday wearable. So that's really good. So this one, and I would rate this a eight out of 10. Okay. Then the next one, I believe was this one and it's called hazelnut and it comes with this little star just like the other one and let's see this one really does smell like a hazelnut latte from starbucks and that is amazing i love the smell of this i love the color and the color of this one is right there and it looks very orangey on camera but in person it really is just a, a sheer pink color they're all very sheer and I'd rate this one at 8.8 .8 out of 10. Okay, then the next one. This one was probably one of my favorites. The next one is called... Oh, I should show you the names. I'm sorry. Oh, I remember. They didn't focus in. The next one is called Punchy. This video is just a fail. Like, I'm failing at this video. It's so bad. I keep forgetting to do things. It's called Punchy. And it smells like... Fruit punch, but I'm not big on fruit punch smells. This smells like a berry spray fruit punch. This smells so good, and the color is so pretty. Oh my gosh. There is the color right there. And I'd rate this one a 9.5 out of 10. And again, these ratings are just based on what they look and smell like right now. Not I haven't tried any of them on yet. Then the next one is called Mocktail Hour, and this is actually the my favorite scent out of all of them. This one smells so good, and it's such, like, a sheer, like, it's, like, a sheer, it's, like, a clear sparkly color, and it's right there at the end, and I can definitely picture myself wearing this all the time. Um, like, this is, would be a good everyday one. It smells so good. It smells like Isla Margarita pocket backs with, like, but, like, with a kick. I don't, <laughs> with, with a kick. Um, yeah, this one's really nice. I'd rate this a 9 out of 10. And then the last one, which I predicted would be my favorite, and it is, in fact, my favorite, Oh, low battery came on. It's like this purpley color, but on your hand, it actually turns out pink. Like, look how pretty that is. It's right up there at the top. And this doesn't, not that it doesn't smell good. It just doesn't smell the best. It smells like grapes, and grape, like, really isn't, like, my type of smell. But it is so pretty. Like, it just, the prettiness overdoes the smell. And I would rate this one a 9 out of 10. And this one's called So Jelly. And I am going to pick one of these to put on my lips. So, and then give you like a, how I feel about the texture. All right, so let's see. 
Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Uh, it feels so weird, like, doing this on camera. Alright. Where's the color? It's a very pretty color. Um, it doesn't really match what I'm wearing, but it's, it is a pretty color. It's, um... It is slightly sticky. It's not as sticky as the Bath & Body Works ones, because as I'm talking, it's not, like... It kind of is, actually. Um... See, I hate that. Um, this texture is actually very similar to Bath and Body Works texture. It's slightly better because it's thicker and has glitter in it, but it uh, it isn't like all the way better. I don't know. It's like just slightly, ever so slightly better. Like this, I'll actually wear these though because this might just be because this one's so glittery. Like I feel like I might not have that problem with like oh they're all kind of glittery. I don't think I'd have that problem with the mint one, and I don't think I'll have that problem with these ones. So, I'll have to let you guys know in the future. This video is 11 minutes long. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I'm struggling today. I'm on the struggle bus. I'm, like, extra today. I'm very extra. I don't know. I'm tired and I don't feel good. Um, well, I just wanted to make a video today and update you guys on just this random haul and my Apple Watch and some randomness. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you soon. I'm sorry that this wasn't the best video, but... Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.